OBS Plus tracking device. This is our OBD2 Quick Connect cable. This is your main unit, and this is the wiring harness that you'll use to connect the actual device into the OBD Quick Connect harness. To perform the installation, you're going to need a few simple hand tools. One would be a pick tool or, or panel popper, and that's just for removing some of the clips that we're going to encounter in the dash. Uh, a knife to be able to cut some of the uh, factory uh, wire looms that are in the vehicle. A wire cutter, a 7 millimeter socket, and a wire stripper. This is the main LCS Plus control module. This is your actual GPS unit. This is the wiring harness that we're going to use to connect into the vehicle that will connect to this device. On the wiring harness, there are four wires. The black wire is a ground wire. It's going to go to the vehicle chassis ground. The red wire is going to go to a constant power source. This is a source that is not switched when the key is turned on or off and remains at 12 volts at all times. The other two wires are used for additional features that we have, such as tow alert and starter disable. The first thing we want to do is pre-wire our harness. Basically what we're going to do is uh, start masking this harness to make it easier to run through the vehicle and also to hide the wiring so that anybody that potentially gets into the vehicle uh, does not uh, immediately notice that there's a tracking device in it. We're going to do that by just taking some electrical tape and starting at the top of the harness. You always want to leave a little bit of wire at the top just so you have a, a place to come in and uh, check these wires with a meter if you ever have any problems with the unit. And we're just going to go in and start taping these wires together. Uh, at first what I want to do is I want to tape all of the wires together in one bundle. And we'll tape all the way to the fuse and take the additional wires and continue taping those. And then we'll start back up on the back side of the fuse. You can just break the tape off and you'll see what our, uh, our pre-wired harness looks like ready to go into the vehicle. So now we've gone from having just bare wires to having everything taped up. It looks nice, it's clean, everything's contained, and we're able to go and plug this into our unit and uh, begin our installation. Okay, we're here installing the UTS LCS Plus. Uh, this install is going to be on a 2000 Chevrolet truck. We're going to show you how to put the device in. Um, this is going to be a quick, basic install, so we're not going to uh, go to any great length as far as hiding uh, the unit, but we are going to mount it in a stealth location where it's not visible to the driver. And uh, this is mainly for functionality and uh, just in case you need to do a quick install on a vehicle. Uh, the first thing you're going to do on this truck is actually pop off this dash bezel. And there are no screws holding it in. It's just clips. So all we're going to do is pull that off. And go ahead and take that out of the vehicle and set it aside. The next thing that we're going to do is remove the bottom part of the dash. And that's where we're going to need the 7 millimeter socket that we showed you earlier. And we'll just use that to remove these two screws that are on the bottom side of the dash. After you've removed the two screws, this panel will simply pop off. There's two clips, one on the left and one on the right. And after we remove this panel, we can just set it aside. The next thing that we're going to need to do is remove the uh, light switch in the vehicle. And we'll do that by simply... The next thing we need to do is remove the uh, headlight switch housing out of the vehicle. And we'll do that by pulling on it. It's got some clips in it. If you have problems with one of the clips hanging, you can use a pick tool like this. And you'll be able to go in behind the clip and pop it out. There's actually four clips that hold this in. One of them is inside this hole down in here. Once we have that out, we can just pull this out and lay it to the side. The last thing we're going to have to remove is the OBD diagnostic connector. This is where we're going to get our power and ground from for our GPS unit. There's a 7 millimeter screw that holds this in. Just simply remove the screw and the connector should hang freely underneath the dash. This is the LCS Plus main control module. There's a sticker on the bottom side that says this side down. You want to make sure that this is always facing down, that your unit can be facing up towards the sky. The top portion of the unit is where the GPS antenna is, and it needs to be located as high as possible in the dash of the vehicle. And you also want to make sure that there's no metal on top of it, as it will not read through metal. It will read through plastic, and it will read through glass. Uh, we're going to put a piece of double side tape on the top of this unit, and that's just to uh, help it to adhere inside the dashboard and keep it from moving around. And I'm just going to use my knife 